Hansen have achieved super fame, but they haven't changed as people. Isaac, Taylor and Zach have become the biggest trio in pop. When they listen to music, they like anything from Counting Crows to Spin Doctors, Aerosmith to Alanis Morissette. Their friends and their parents are very supportive of their career and give them every encouragement. And the boys know that even though everything could be gone in a minute, they will have fun. They say, when we tour, we have a ball because everywhere is new to us. Um, you get you get a little bit tired, but I think I think you know. I think what did you do this morning? Studying or we, uh, we studied and we showered and we like. You got up and you ate breakfast. <laughs> no, really? 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 Yeah. yeah. Oh Hard to believe, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you brush your teeth. Yeah. No, we don't put on deodorant. We don't brush our hair. <laughs> and uh, you're on tour the whole. The next week. Uh, no, we're well. I guess partially. I mean, we've been we've been here Doing in Europe. Doing a promotional tour. Yeah, we've been in right Europe now. for about a, I guess two weeks now. We're going to be here for another, I think, f three days. Mm -hmm. uh, we're doing the second video in London, uh, second music video. So we'll be there for three days. Then we're in Los Angeles for several days, and and uh, you know then then we perform in Detroit perform in Oklahoma City we're taking something that we love and taking it to the next level we're going out and we're doing something we're making we're we're making music and we're putting it out to people saying here we are do you like this if you like this great because that you know we're just being who we are we're really lucky that we've gotten i mean this that we've gotten as far as we have i mean People say, how do you feel about your success? How do you feel about how well things are going? We have a million bands that have worked their butts off a lo lot longer than we have. And I think you just get lucky enough to have it ha have success hit you for a second. Hopefully it'll last long enough for us to grasp it for a second. You know? Then we're home for several, for about a week. For one week? Yeah. Oh my god, that's long. <laughs> <It's>, uh... <laughs> what are you doing in one week at home? What will you do there? God, we do not know anything. <laughs> anything. It doesn't matter, you know. Just be home. As yeah. like, it'll feel good to be home, and then off again. Uh -huh. it's, it's pretty cool. Uh -huh. So you, I heard you never went to school to no, normal school. Yeah, no, we never went to school. Period. We're like one plus four is two. <laughs> no. no. So um, well, we we homeschool. So our parents teach us, mm -hmm. and we do, you know, the normal stuff that anybody else does, you know, reading, writing, arithmetic, that kind of so thing. So are, are they teachers? I mean, my parents couldn't teach me. Because... <laughs> um, well, the, no, they're not actual teachers. Our mom did actually teach a little bit when she was uh, out of, right out of college, she did. Um, but, uh, you know, th really, the state constitution, Oklahoma constitution, is very supportive of that. Mm -hmm. It's very popular to teach your kids in... Uh, in Oklahoma and where we're from. A lot of our friends' uh, parents teach them. A lot of you know them are homeschooled. Mm -hmm. But so. school is the place where you make friends at the age of yeah, six or yeah. seven. So do you, have, you are always together at home, learning at home, mm -hmm. and then you are on tour. So have you some friends outside? Oh, yes, really? definitely. Oh, yeah, we have definitely. friends. We have, uh, you know. Where do you find them? Oh, when? Well, when we homes, as he was saying, a lot of our friends would did the same thing. Mm -hmm. So a lot, you'd all, a lot of times you'd get together mm -hmm. and you'd do it together, and then just and that you, way you met. You'd different go friends. on field trips, outings, you know, Things do like that. Yeah. And that and that way you would meet them. You takes care of that social thing, you know. Mm -hmm. And then just even from singing, we've met. I mean, you meet people all over yeah. the world, and just in in town when we would sing, you meet people. And that now a lot of our. I mean, some of our good friends are ones that we met through performing. Yeah, some so of our best friends are people that we've met through just singing and performing over the years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. so. When we're seeing things in Europe, it's that's our school. It's not so much that we're stuck in a classroom looking at pictures. We're actually seeing the real things. What if this doesn't happen and we have to work in a at a nine to five job, you know? You have to be smart, you know? You have to be smart, no matter what you do. Like Zach said, you have to be you know, constantly thinking about the things around you are education. And so, therefore, yes, 
education is always very important. We take our books with us everywhere, you know, you have to do the math, you have to do all the things that you, everybody does, you know, math, reading, writing, all the fun, all the things that you need. And then with history and literature and all those type of things, and really, I mean, people's look on learning is, is completely changing with the internet. Who knows what could happen with everyone's look on that. You can go to college through your TV. I mean, there's so much, there's so many different things. It's like you don't have to be stuck in a classroom anymore. Okay. Um, the album, Middle of Nowhere, is that your first album or did you have an, an album uh, released only in the USA? Oh, no, we've had, we've had two records that we did on our own, uh, independently done, uh, w that we financed. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the first record was kind of an R&B record, and, uh, and then we, on the second record, we then uh, played all the instruments, wrote all the songs, produced it all ourselves. And uh, dur and so th we use those two as actually demos, shopping those to the different record labels and things like that. And uh, and then we got signed by Mercury Records and then made this album. So we've we've actually made three albums in two years. So that's pretty good. Yeah. So so our our, our local fans are not bored with uh, wanting new material. We've been giving them a lot of new material. So I would say that working with different producers, they add their own little flavor, the things that they put in. The first one was much more R&B, and the next one was more straight pop. But on this, I think we combined both. A lot had an R&B flavor with the pop rock. The first music we really listened to was late 50s, early 60s rock and roll, like Chuck Berry, Otis Redding, Aretha Franklin, you know. I think we're very into all that different kind of music. I mean, we listen to a lot of music. We, we listen to Michael Jackson, you listen to Counting Crows. Alanis Morissette. Adult contemporary bands also, you know, just Whitney Houston, um, all those different ones, Boys to Men, and all kinds of different things, not just one thing. And your single went straight to number one in the USA, yeah? It's crazy. It's yeah. absolutely it's insane. Crazy. It's for three weeks now? Or four, it? It's, three yeah, weeks. it's the third week. So, yeah. I mean, you're just totally back off of that. I mean, that's amazing. You can't possibly expect that. So, we're just completely blown away. Yeah, it's... Totally awesome. Do people recognize you on the street right now? I mean, uh, you, are you that famous right well, now? Well, you, you, I mean, I think, I think, I guess you could say, yeah, I mean, we definitely get recognized Every on the street. Every once in a while, someone notices you. In, in New York, especially, and also, I mean, we haven't really spent a lot of time in L.A. recently, but in New York, you know, we did, we do get recognized. Uh, we, we stay, you know, we'll be like in Times Square, per se, and we'll get noticed. Definitely. So uh, I mean, it's it's cool to get the to talk to the people and to uh, you know find out where they're from, where they where they got the record, if they have the record, you know, and all that and all that. So it's 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 cool. We we enjoy that. One of the cool one of the things that you really miss with uh, you know just I guess you could say it being um, bigger than just local is that you don't have as much personal relationship with fans. You don't get the opportunity to, you know, talk to as many people. It's harder because there's a lot more people. Yeah, it's so it's, you know, it, when when you do get to when you do get to talk to fans and ask them what they think and stuff. That's that's cool. So, mm -hmm. yeah. It's pretty exciting. What do the fans want to know from you? What's what's the most um I, I think they want to kind of know that you're a normal person. I think they just want to talk to you and and find, and just I think that's. I think it's just cool too. I mean, if you have somebody, a band you like, I think you just want to talk to them and find out if they're, if they're not stuck up and if they're normal people. And if, and and I think if if they are, then that makes you feel really good. It'd be awfully good. weird if we it weren't wanna, normal people. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I just. I mean, like, if you like, if you had a band you really liked, you just want to talk to them and and I think it, they just want to. They just want to talk. I used to I don't know. I have an arm growing out of the back, out of my back. Oh, I just forgot to. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. No, I definitely think. I definitely think. I have extra toes. Yeah. I, I definitely. Toe last night. I forgot yeah. to tell you guys. Yeah. No, I definitely. I definitely think we're pretty much normal we're kids. Normal. Yeah. I mean, definitely it, normal. the only the only thing that I guess you could say maybe doesn't make us normal is the fact that we're in a band and not every kid is in a band. Uh, but you know, I th I think. And you're in a successful band. Yeah. Well, that you know, I mean, you have to realize, you have to realize that, well, you have to realize or that not. it can go as fast as it can come, and it, and so it doesn't, you know, it doesn't really, it doesn't really matter the whole success thing. I think you have to just love it. 
I think that's the important thing. I mean, that's, success is that's cool, though. It. Success yeah. isn't bad. Yeah. It's, it's just the... It's like the icing on the cake. I mean, the music and the love of it is is what keeps it together, and that's all the icing. That's mm. just the topping. Mm. So you wouldn't stop making music if they throw you out of the charts? No. No. I don't think we could not. possibly. Absolutely not. I mean, we've done two local... We've done two albums, you know, on our own uh, before we did this album. And uh, I think if I think if it all stopped now, we'd continue to do it because, you know, that's the reason we're doing it is because we love it. You know, we'll we'll continue to write songs, continue to, you know, perform and all that. So I, I think to us, it really doesn't matter. It's only it's only a cool thing to get the opportunity. And it's a, obviously it's a very cool thing, uh, just how successful it's, you know, it's yeah. been so far. But. It's you know it's it's an amazing experience and I th but I think we'll just keep doing it no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Zach. Do, do, do. Zach takes mineral water and he you know goes like this and like. Oh. Yeah. Hopefully you don't do it with diet coke, <laughs> Zach. Yeah. Please. Uh. So you grew up with with music. Your your parents uh, brought you to music when you were were young. Uh, true? So, well, I mean, for, did you have a choice to do anything else, or, or I? It wasn't like no. It wasn't like our parents were saying, "Here's music, listen to it." Our parents have always been extremely, extremely supportive. I mean, we really couldn't do this without our parents being there because it's not like we could drive. It's not like we could carry all the equipment around without the encouragement of them. Without them saying, "Guys, we're behind you. We're here to help you out." It would be harder. You need people behind you and encouraging you. And they have been there all the way and just completely supportive, saying, guys, if you want to stop now, we'll stop now. If you want to keep going, we're going to be there for you and we're going to help you out. It wasn't like our parents were saying, here's music, listen to it. We, the reason we do music is because we listened to it and we loved it. On our, that was just kind of, that was on our own. That was something that we liked. And really, we were drawn the to. the point and, that we started music, it wasn't like, do this or do this. It was like... Nothing. We didn't have to do anything. We could have sit on our rears and watch TV for the rest of our life until yeah, we had to get you know, a job. But yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean that was you know that was the you know that was the thing you, you did. I guess well, I mean that sounds kind of weird, but yeah, I mean, but did you, we didn't have to sing, so we just did. We found that we liked to sing. We started writing songs and found that we all that we all liked. We all liked harm, we harmonized with each other, and that we right. all liked music, and so we just did it together. And then as we started writing songs and, and started playing instruments, it just, we found that we, it was something that we really loved to do. We listened to, you know, 50s and 60s music that we had a tape from 1958. Uh, had, you know, Johnny B. Good, Summertime Blues, Splish Splash, Rockin' Robin, uh, Good Golly Miss Molly, you know, all these songs. And, you know, I'm, we listened to that tape just over and over and over again. Listened to it so much that I that uh, I knew exactly when the song started. I could listen to the tape and I could, Boom. and I, we listened to it so much that we could, that we, that we just knew it that well. And I think, you know, it was just, it, the reason we listened to it so much was because we loved it. We loved the music and we loved music in general. We, I started writing my, started writing songs during that time when I was in third grade. I guess I was probably eight, eight or nine years old. And um, and so uh, you know, very soon after, Tay and Zach started harmonizing, and then also writing songs too. And I think, you know, it was just something that we all love to do. It how, was just in us. Write songs with eight? I, mean, I don't know what I've done with eight, but never. I I don't know. I you know. How I you all you can songs? say is it, it's a I I mean it, it's a God-given gift, I guess. Uh, you know, I mean it the, because because you know the. You know, most I guess most kids, I think I think everybody expresses themselves in different ways. You know, some people write it down, some people paint it. You know, do painting. Some people express it and just like they, you know, the way they speak, mm -hmm. things like that. I, you know, I think we just express it in music. We ex we express our feelings and we express things that we are not necessarily feeling, but just things like going through our head mm -hmm. that. You know, write we write songs about it. You know, I, you know, there, I, there really is no formula to it. I think it's something that you love. Music taste? 
Because you all write songs. I think every go everybody has slightly different. I mean, he, Zach may rock more, or Ike may go into more ballads, or I or I may have more of an R and B or something like that. But I mean, really, we we all live in the same room, and we all and we all play the same music. So it's like and we all listen to the same stuff. So, so basically, yeah, we basically listen to I the think, same things. I think the you know we're definitely very we're definitely different. You know, we're three different people, and I think we, and I think that that's what's really cool is, you know, there's three different people that have three different looks on things, three different I, different ideas, and I think that's, you know, each person adds something to a song, adds a different aspect to something, and I, th I think that's really cool. You know, that's part of, I think, you know, it's it's a it's cool being brothers, and you know, just and just being in a band. Period is just that you. You can work the way we just we just work together, and it, and you know it. We like the way it turns out. I guess you could say. I mean, it's, it's it's well, it's something that we, it's something that we love. I mean, that's that's the only reason we're doing it. It's because we love it. And on stage, do you have musicians, or do you play your instruments? Uh, you on the drums? Yes. Yes. yes we all play our instruments. Someone <laughs> asked us that. So, do you dance? No. no. We play instruments and she so goes she go goes to you go to the instruments some of the time occasionally. I'm like no, we always play instruments. I play the drums. Ike plays guitar, he plays piano. Ike's big enough to play the guitar and I couldn't play piano well enough since. Yeah, because yeah. We, it's a thing we do. Because we have this this whole boy group thing going on in Europe and there are <laughs> three, four, five boys just dancing and they have their, maybe their bands or it's half playback. Yeah. So we are not really used to that. If we see three boys, three guys, <laughs> they have to be a boy group, so. Yeah. Well, yeah I think no, we definitely there's... we definitely play. I mean, you know, we're always playing the instruments. I think that's you know that's that's who we are. We we want to play our instruments and and we do play our instruments and we write our songs and all that. And I, you know, I think that's who Hanson is. That's that's Hanson is the band. The band. We do actually have a bass player and another and a rhythm yeah, guitarist. And, yeah. bass player. and a guy who plays like the strings on the keyboard. Yeah, other other keyboard parts. But we all, I play guitar, Taylor plays keyboard, Zach plays drums, and so... We you know, do do that. We do do that, yes. We do do that. Yeah. <laughs> it's always been this way. I've been doing this half my life since I was six. We were always doing this. That's what we are, that's what we've always done. And, and that's part of, that's who we are. So it's not, it's nothing new. We have always done this. Um, Zach is pretty awesome at the drums, I must say. I, I've tried to play the drums many times, and I just can't do it. I'm the most of a fiddler, but Ike fiddles. He'll always sit there and fiddle on the guitar forever. And anyone who's a guitarist, anyone who's a drummer, always fiddling on things, tapping, playing, strumming. It's a, he definitely has that in him. Uh, we just kind of laugh at it and say, this could be gone in a minute, but we will have fun. Okay, so I just want to have um, two IDs, something like that. Okay. Wish you a nice day. Okay. Hi, I'm Isaac. Taylor. And I'm Zach. I'm and we're Hanson. No, and you, you, you messed it up. Uh, is it good morning, or do we want to say hi? Yeah, no, it's, it's to okay, wish you a nice day or something. Okay, okay. And we're Hanson. That's fine. And the second one is just not, not good morning, just um, hi, we're Hanson. One, two, three. Hi, hi we're, we're Hanson. Hanson. Throw it okay. one more time. One, One two. two. Hi, we're Hanson. Hanson.